Hey everybody, here to give you guys the review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let's go ahead and get into it uh, right quick. Y'all know I'm selling Cincy. If y'all not on it, go ahead and jump on it. Today is the last day for Bring Back My Bar. So if y'all haven't gotten it, y'all better get it in tonight because after tonight, you won't be able to get them. All right, just want to throw that out there. All right, so pretty much everybody's getting ready for Jamaica. Um, like I said, apparently Horsh is, with, is still with old boy. Moving on, Cynthia. I don't. Patricia doesn't want uh, Cynthia to tell none of the girls that Lanithia is coming. Shade. That's one of those things where it's like, okay, so we holding on to secrets, but you know, hey, I'm going to say this. Patricia trying to keep them chests coming, so it is what it is. And Cynthia says she's, going, she's picking Kim over, uh, well, it's not just picking Kim, but picking Kim instead of having both she and Kenya work together or even picking Kenya. Uh, Kenya is bringing Matt with her, so that's her plus one. Kim is bringing her family plus her assistant to watch the kids. You know, she learned from D.C. Okay. Um, the Whitfields are there together. That's cute. Now, the commercial gets brought up by a fake drug, and Cynthia, she could have just not talked about it, but she feels so inclined to go into the discussion. Of course, Kenya feels some kind of way because that is her first time hearing about it. And I'm pretty sure there was more than enough time for her, if not to meet with Kenya, to sit down and talk to her. So, um, yeah, I got a side eye, my girl Cindy, about that. But we're going to see how this shit play out. And I can't wait. Tonight look like it's going to be a shady night on Bravo altogether. So, y'all just hang tight. Okay, so this episode is going to give me what I need. I Let me say this before we even get there. I think the whole needy coming out, all of those shit, we're going to get that at the tail end, which means we're going to get it to be continued. Just about guaranteed. But, uh, so, Bob is trying his best to get back sweet with, uh, you know, Sheree. Y'all have to excuse me. I'm trying to multitask here, trying to reset my computer. So, when I upload this, everything will upload fast, quickly, and smoothly. And it looks like I'm about to do a hard reset. Out, bloody rages. Anyway. Uh, so now you have Kim, Kenya, and Cynthia. So Cynthia is talking to, you know, uh, Kim first kind of praising her. Kenya sits down, and now they're talking about everything. And, you know, Kenya's whole thing is just like, you know, you could have told me that, you know, things could have gone a different way, professionalism, respect, this, that, and third. And, you know, Kenya truly felt that Cynthia should have reached out to her, which I do understand that. It's one of those where you should have also been respectful and hit her up and was just like, you know what, I'm not going to be able to make it instead of her having to call you. But again, we know it has absolutely nothing to do with her actually wanting to do the project. More or less, it has everything to do with her, as Cynthia mentioned, not losing to Kim. That's what this is, and we all know that. And, you know, starting to get a little tense, starting to go a little back and forth. And the funny thing is... <laughs> Even though I know a lot of people not here for it, I do some shit like this too. Like if I'm sitting, like I'm one of them motherfuckers. If I don't fuck with you, I don't entertain you. So I will have a conversation as if a motherfucker's not sitting there, which is exactly what Kenya did. And even though it ain't right, I was fucking here for it. But it seems like you know shit about to go left, and uh, Kenya is about to pretty much bring what she's been hiding out. So, ooh, I can't wait. I know y'all can't either. Okay, so. I don't know if I should like go to fucking, you know what, no, I, I'm, I'm going to save my energy because I really do feel Workout New York is going to get all of my fucking attention tonight. It's a season finale, you guys, so I, I have to give my attention, but, you know, Kenya comes for Kim, it's like how many, com like, how many commercials have you pretty much been in slash directed, uh, Kim is kind of stumbling, and it's just, and you know, here, and here's my whole thing, on some real shit. I was here for Kim. Only has she played this shit right. Here's the thing. Kenya is good at what the fuck she does. Because she baited her ass like she did fucking um, Horsha. Okay. It was one of those where, again, she could have did exactly what Kenya did to her. Don't talk to her. Don't acknowledge her. Continue to talk to Cynthia. I, this is where I'm going to go with it. Cause I'm not going to sit here and do the whole blow, blah, blow, blah, but that is where she fucked up. The fact that she engaged, because here's the thing. 
she wasn't going to win this verbal argument with Kenya. It just wasn't going to happen. And of course, Kenya has physical tactics. Now, am I here for the whole pulling somebody's seat out? I'm not here for that. Just like I wasn't here, you know, for putting, the, I think it was the bullhorn in somebody. For, I wasn't here, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, I'm not here for. Even though physically you ain't touched the person, but you was in their damn space. But again, it's still a way that you can play this shit off. You feel what I'm saying? Well, she allowed herself to get caught up in the fuck shit. And, you know, she walks off and I commend her for walking off. You know, the last thing you want to do is get into a fallout scrap out. Even though I'm pretty sure, you know, Andy would have wanted that. That's all I'm going to say. She goes and have pillow talk with her husband. And this is where, you know, Kim is starting to manifest. Again, we all, like I said, we're all going to show a certain side of who we are at all times. It's only during adversity, stress, whatever the case may be, that not who we truly are, but what we tend to keep hidden will manifest itself. And that is what we got. And, you know, I will say, you know, even though we probably gonna hear some shit about the husband later on, he mellows her out and I was here for that. Uh, Cynthia, Nene, Patricia, and Greg, they're talking about what just happened. And now you have, um, Cindy talking about some well, I'm going to put you, Nene, in Kenya's place. I'm just like, here she go licking on the clit again, bumping pussies. I can't. Kenya doesn't want to go to the dinner, but my whole thing is we already gave them our word that we're going to be there, so let's just do it. So this shit is about to come to a head, and of course, you know, Lanethia just has to make her grand venture. So let's see how this shit plays out. Okay, so I was wrong. I thought the whole little dinner thing was going to, like, literally not happen or I was wrong. I can admit that. Y'all don't hear that shit often. Good. <clears throat> so Cynthia walks in, and then of course Nene has to make her grand entrance. Alright. Nene mentions that she will be in the commercial, and you know, Cynthia is just like, okay, well, you know what? Everybody could be in a commercial. Kenya's just like, I ain't trying to do it. Now, what really got me was Patricia is just like, you know you're killing the energy you know this is going to help my wife out and everybody coming together so the fact that you don't want to do it is fucked up so what are your issues with kim and i'm just kind of looking at patricia just like bruh 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 i've only called greg georgia maybe a couple of times y'all see greg ain't said shit Greg ain't said not a motherfucking thing. So Greg go get a pad. Bruh, why the fuck you talking? Why the fuck are you inserting yourself in bitch shit? Why? Into fucking way. Her, Kenya whole thing is, I'm not fit to do it. I'd rather gouge my fucking eyes out than have to discuss something that I've already discussed. I'd rather, you know, take a lighter and light myself on fire. And so then he's like, well, somebody give her a lighter. And I'm looking at him just like, Wow. Wow, Kenya has never sat here and called you a bitch, but Lanethia has. But, you know, you're so quick to take her. You know what? No, no. And before Kim and Matt leaves, of course, it's either before, it's like right as they're leaving or right after they left. He has his little quick, snappy little read. And I'm kind of looking just like, well, how the fuck are you talking? You know what I'm saying? Like, you new to the group. And what I think should have happened is that should have been a men's table. That should have been a women's table. And at the same exact time, you never insert yourself into bitch shit. Dude, you just don't fucking do that. And then he felt so inclined to actually just start talking about it. And I'm just like, bro, you doing the absolute most. But apparently, I guess that is Cam's mouthpiece. And I even saw his horns coming out. I'm just like, okay. All right. I see how fuck this is. My whole thing is, but you wait till she leave to have something to say. All right. All right, Chris. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm going to need y'all help. We need to find a name. Uh, his name is Christina. That is Christina. Sit your ass down. Uh, Phaedra brings up, you know, Kenya and you, the Kenya and Cynthia are BFFs. And, you know, need like, no, they not. They not. No, they not. Are y'all BFFs? And then she's like, well, we're still getting to know each other. I can't. But what really got me was... Nene is just like, well, you know, we're back together. Cynthia has been waiting on me just like Greg. And Cynthia ain't said shit. Done. 
okay, so they decided to give us a little bit of extra. I think, I really do think they could have just gave us a cliffhanger and kept us waiting, but I don't know what the fuck we're going to get next week. And to wait. So, this is the only time I'm going to talk about the Tuckers. So, they're all talking. So, it's uh, the girls, um, Candy and Todd. They're talking. They bring up uh, the nanny, Mama Joyce, her possibly being there for the entire, like, the first month, maybe, like, staying there or whatnot. And, you know, I'm sitting here just like, y'all let me know if y'all caught it. We all been talking about what possible spinoff they might get. That might be the spinoff. A month with the Tuckers. Y'all let me know. Peter invited Mallory, so, you know, trying to get in good, this, that, and third. We gonna see again. <sighs> Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. We're friends again. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the rest of this damn season. I don't know. And then you got Sheree and King, so Sheree pretty much is gonna spill the motherfucking tea. It's like, well, you know she says you, you know y'all working on y'all friendship, but can your whole thing is after four years, you're still trying to get to know me? Bad. And <clears throat> it was one of those where, you know, and Kenya did make a good point. You know, y'all back, y'all back hanging out and you have not uttered anything to me, even though she doesn't have to. But knowing the relationship that those two have, how Kenya and Nini are with each other, that's something that she should have mentioned to Kenya. But no, she didn't. So, shade of boots. You can't win when you're dirty. All right, so the way that this pretty much ends is with uh, Kenya coming to talk to Cynthia and pretty much, you know, just stating how she feels. And it's one of those where, I mean, we all can say what we want, but for one, she sh I'm never going to sit here and like shun somebody and say that they can't feel a certain way. I'm not going to say that. I can understand where Kenya is coming from in her feelings. But it's one of those where it's just like, yeah, you know, you did deny her <clears throat> in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? And all I'm going to say is what Kenya should probably do or what I would suggest that she do is real simple. Sit back, sip tea. <clears throat> Point blank and the motherfucking period. Sit back, sip tea and just watch the fuckery unfold. Because that is what I would do. Because it's one of those things where it's just like they've been there once. Not trying to wish bad on, on them, but they're going to be there again. And it's one of those wishes, like, just don't laugh at them. But when she come back crying to you, miss me with the bullshit. Go back and, uh, you know, suck on that clitoris of uh, Lanethia Leak. So that's all that I got, you guys. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And we'll be right back for the uh, Households of Potomac and Workout New York. Peace.